Hello and welcome to our update of week five of the Dialogue Rugby A Division League action and what a weekend this has been. We thought this was going to be one of the quieter weekends in the Dialogue Rugby A Division but it turned out to be anything but. We had a cracker of a match on Saturday but before that let's talk about the game uh, that happened on Friday at Valley Surrey. That's when CHNFC uh, travelled down to uh, meet Navy and that was going to be an interesting game uh, because Navy were coming off a loss the week before and we wanted to see whether they will respond uh, in, uh, in kind against CHNFC. Uh, with that loss, but it didn't turn out to be the thrashing that everyone expected it to be. That it expected Navy to come through and really show them, uh, show us what we're, what they're made of. But unfortunately for Navy, that didn't quite happen as far as the scoreline is consider, uh, considered. 17 points to three, they were leading at half time, and in the end, the game finished by seven, uh, 24 points to eight, which means that it was a seven points to five second half. So CHNFC coming back in uh, the second half and showing what they are capable of this season as well. They've been a little erratic. They've been really good in some games, really bad in other games. And sometimes now they move from playing a good half of rugby to playing a bad half of rugby. So that's something that CHNFC have to fix uh, for themselves over the course of uh, this week. They've got to remain more consistent and find ways to score tries. And that's where... The issue has been Rimsi Jamaldeen can have some off days with his kicking boots as well. So that's something that uh, coach Bilal Yusuf uh, needs to sort out in uh, terms of going forward and playing this very long uh, season. But for the Navy team, it was a good win coming back, but they didn't score a bonus point against CH. That'll, that'll be something that concerns them as well. Once again, all their tries being converted by Mubarak, who put over a penalty as well. So they've got the best place kicker in the country by a country mile, actually, in uh, that Navy team. And that's what's going to make the difference for them coming the big games as well because Captain Rajapaksa knows that he can count on Riza to convert uh, from almost anywhere and that's where uh, teams will know that there's pressure building on them if they make a mistake in their own half which is not really something that any of the other teams apart from Navy can hold against uh, their opponents. So uh, 24 points to 8, that's how that one finished at Valley Sarai in really soggy conditions as well so the Navy boys not really able uh, to spread that ball uh, too much but they will have uh, been unhappy with uh, the scoreline there. They would have wanted to score at least 30 points and try and make sure that they got the bonus as well because now with all the teams losing, the bonus becomes much more important. But credit to CHNFC for trying to hold them, uh, hold Navy at their uh, home ground as well. Then we moved on to a game at this very ground a couple of days ago and a police visited to take on CRNFC who have been riding high who were on, in second place and third place on the championship and police who had just won the Humbug to the Sharks game so they, were, they had suffered three defeats already and just won the one game. They came to uh, CRNFC at Longdon Place as complete outsiders. They weren't really given too much of a chance. CRNFC thought they were going to win this match easy and probably that reflected a bit. I don't know what they had been doing at training but it looked very much like they hadn't been putting in enough work on mental intensity and uh, that's where it really went pear shaped for them because after after they started well after police uh, started really badly and conceded about six penalties in the first five minutes of play CRNFC could not convert they had about five penalties on police's line but they could not score a try neither could they score a penalty and get points on board and it turned over immediately with Apisai taking a quick tap and uh, running almost the length of the field to take Take his team to the other 22 and from then on police never really looked back. Apisa and Ingaliva really led the whole uh, side with some amazing uh, breaks and also some amazing offloads. What was really superb uh, for me was how well police played, how thoughtful their game was and I think their coach Douglas Bursil really made a big impact uh, since coming on. Uh, you, you need to give foreign, uh, foreign coaches a few weeks uh, to try and make an impact on their team and that's exactly what he has done. Police played some amazing rugby. They had Ashan Gomez from the base who was really good with his box kicks. Police put a lot of pressure. They chased the kicks well and uh, some amazing offloads from Apisai who moved to the number 10 position and also Filimoni Seru who uh, played alongside him. Those two combined really well to punch holes in the CRNFC defence and once the defence was sucked in, they were using their wide players and there was some good passing, some great offloads. Samantha Lakshan profiting from some great support play that he ran as well to score the true tries alongside Apisai's two tries too and uh, they actually managed to run home six tries uh, police against the uh, four tries that were scored by CRNFC as well so CR hitting back at one stage bringing the game within 24 points to 17 at one point after they hit back with two 
close uh, close quarter tries in uh, the second half but it wasn't going to be enough for them they couldn't sustain uh, that pace and despite the fact that they brought on one of their big uh, new uh, foreign players from Hawks Bay a teammate of uh, Robbie Malnick he couldn't really make the desired impact because they were passing him the ball a lot but when police sized him up and cut him down uh, with some nice uh, ankle strap uh, tackles that was when uh, things went a little bit pear share for Sierra and FC they couldn't come back into the game although they have already made a name for themselves as being a second half comeback side so 41 points to 22 uh, is how that one finished a really entertaining game 10 tries scored by uh, both teams but uh, CR and FC will be kicking themselves they, that's a game they should have won they needed to win that one at home to try and maintain pressure on uh, the top positions in the table but police played really well that it didn't look like an upset victory they didn't look like they were not the favorites for that game they played a really thoughtful game of rugby and their set piece was pretty good their first try actually came off a strike against the head and then their second try also came off some good line out play so it was a good set feet, set piece from police they were really dominant in those areas Romesh Acharige at uh, the middle of the line out was really outstanding for them and Apisai had a superb game and some old boys for CRNFC also Heshan Gunaratna playing on the uh, in the fullback position for police uh, SC had a superb game as well although he did miss one tackle that led to a try Ashan De Costa going over the line and knocking on but scoring in uh, the next couple of moments but uh, that was an outstanding bit of play from the CRNFC captain but the rest of it didn't really go according to plan uh, for the CR team so that's something that they will need to go back to the drawing board and uh, figure out what defensive patterns they're going to use and how they're going to execute that. Uh, then we had the Havelocks taking on Air Force and that match was at uh, Ratmalana and Havelocks really have been improving as the season goes on and when you look at a long season like this where you have to play eight teams and you have to play them twice over and uh, that's what's going to give you the league title my money is uh, not going to be too far off uh, this Havelock's team uh, Glenn Christini is very happy with the way his young team are progressing they've lost quite a few uh, experienced players to Navy but that hasn't made too much of a difference for them and they scored a 45 points to 16 win against uh, Air Force, despite the fact that the weather wasn't too good for them in uh, that neck of the woods either. But uh, rumor has it that uh, Air Force have also phoned down some foreign players. So they are going to be much more competitive when it comes to the second round of action as well. And I'm sure quite a few of the teams will be happy that they've played these guys before they actually uh, brought in those foreign players. So 45 points to 16 is how that one finished. Look out for this Havelock side. They are going to be one to be reckoned with in uh, the upcoming couple of weeks. Then we had Hampantara Sharks taking on uh, Candy Sports. Club at Beliata, always a difficult place to travel to and Candy after the dramatic wins and losses that they have uh, managed to string together in the last few weeks probably thought they could take this one a little easy and that's what reflects on the scoreboard as well despite the fact that Candy actually won the game. Um, 34 points to 21. They will be unhappy with the fact that they conceded two tries uh, to this Hambantara Sharks team. They really must tighten up if uh, they are going to challenge for the title along with Navy and CRNFC and Havelocks. So that's something that's, uh, that Candy SC have got to uh, check out because they know that they need to rest players. They don't have as much depth in the forwards but at the same time they've got to keep the pressure on and they missed the bonus point as well. In fact no they didn't miss the bonus point. They managed to score five tries which gives them the bonus point against the Hambantara Sharks. So let's see how Candy go in the upcoming weeks. So those are the results. So we had Navy winning against CHNFC, Police in the massive upset win 41-22 against CRNFC, Havelocks winning big against Air Force and Candy also scraping through, well not scraping through, uh, winning convincingly but not really convincingly enough for a Candy team by 34 points to 21. So as the table stands, uh, we haven't really talked about the table very much before on the updates uh, from previous seasons but this season it's always a new team that's going up a new team that's going down and uh, that's why we've had to talk about the table with so much intensity because it has been an outstanding season in terms of uh, results and entertainment and uh, unexpected uh outcomes from games as well. So now at the moment, Navy, after having sat pretty at the top of that table for a while, moved down into the second position. Candy are number one on the table and we haven't seen that for a few years, maybe about three years. Uh, we haven't seen that. Candy fans not really used to that. So they'll be very happy with uh, Candy moving up to the number one position. Navy are in number two and Havelocks with some consistent improvement over the weeks and that's what they're looking for. Consistent improvement. They have gone to number three and uh, CRNFC are 
after that loss, they have dropped to number four. And Army, who are rumoured to have got a Fijian superstar, we'll tell you a little bit more about that as soon as the news come in, uh, comes in about whether he has actually flown down Rupeni Thautha, whether he's actually moved into the Army colours. Uh, Army are in fifth and police after that massive win. We'll have a lot of confidence of trying to make it into the top four. They're in sixth place at the moment. CHNFC in seventh, Hambantha the Sharks and Air Force also bringing up the eighth and ninth position. So that's the story for now as far as the table is concerned. This is all going to change after next week's action as well. So make sure you keep it locked to the papre.com to make sure you catch all our games live and streaming. And we will be bringing you all the action and a summary of it as well. Some excellent write-ups from uh, all our writers and a roundup as well uh, in uh, the course of the week. So make sure you keep it locked to the papre.com for all your dialogue rugby action. And we will bring, enjoy bringing all of them to you. Thank <laughs> you.